So if you guys watched our Minecraft and EDU episode from a couple weeks ago, you remember that we mentioned something called Minecraft EDU made by Minecraft teacher, AKA Joel Levin, who we happen to have in the studio today. So I'm really curious about the moment at which you were like, okay, the aha I, moment. Yeah, like I'm a teacher, I'm gonna teach using Minecraft. Minecraft is just this rare game that, that kids of all ages really enjoy playing. Right, right. And both boys and girls. It was over summer break 2010, I think. I was playing an alpha version of Minecraft with my daughter, who was not even quite five at the time. She learned to spell her first word because of Minecraft. She, well, what was it? Uh, she wanted to know how to teleport herself back home. Okay. And you had to type slash H-O-M-E. So like, what are the things that you teach using Minecraft? Like, what, what are the subjects? I tend to teach just sort of digital citizenship, the, the idea of how we treat each other online. What I'll do is I'll put the kids in these little situations where they have to work together, and maybe there's limited resources, or I often set different groups of kids with competing goals and I've never found a better motivator to get the kids to learn how to do their own research on the internet than Minecraft. But that's just me in my own classroom. There's teachers having kids fly through 3D models of cells. There's teachers having the kids uh, fly around the world, collect a lot of data, and then represent that data in graphs. One of the problems that, that a lot of people have identified, and I had trouble sort of seeing past myself, was that, well, Minecraft isn't a very realistic simulation of the world. Right, sometimes, you use everything's in a block. Yeah, and sometimes you cut down a tree and, you know, the block doesn't fall, that kind of thing. But what what a lot of science teachers are doing is they're having kids map the physics of this world and where is it the same as, as real world and where is it different okay. and they're having the kids design the experiments uh, to chart this different it's it's teaching the scientific method using Minecraft I feel like there's this criticism of mm -hmm. things like teaching using Minecraft and maybe game-based learning in general I don't think that game-based learning is going to, should supplant any traditional learning methods what it's about for me is using a teaching tool that is really relevant to these kids when they're in the moment, when they're in the game, when they're in a world that I've created block by block, surrounded by content that I want them to learn. I have never had such access to the brains of these, these children, and it, it's been really rewarding for me professionally. And the science is starting to catch up with this. It's been really fascinating to see some early work being done to prove that there is a direct connection between this increased engagement and the amount of information that's, that children are retaining. So if there are teachers out there who want to get started teaching with Minecraft, what is the, what, what's like the first step? What's the thing that you recommend? Well, they can go to my website, minecraftedu.com, and we have uh, some, some materials to, to get started and uh, some ideas for things you can do with the game. So I think that's everything that we have to ask for right now. Joel, I want to thank you so much for sure. coming in. Um, and uh, for everybody who's interested in uh, Joel and his work, we'll put a bunch of links in the description so you can check it out. It's amazing. Thank you.